Hey guys, I'm Andre from Tmile and today we're going to be taking a look at how to create an advanced checkout page using Neve, Neve Pro uh, with WooCommerce inside WordPress. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. I'm going to switch the scene here. Great. What we've got here is actually a, a clean WordPress install. I went ahead and just activated Neve and Neve Pro. After you activate them, you'll be greeted with something like this with a notice that asks you to go and uh, check out the starter site. Because I don't have any content, we're actually gonna go ahead and import some content. And because we need a WooCommerce site, I'm gonna go ahead and look for something with a shop. Okay, great. I'm just gonna go ahead and import the shop demo. I'm gonna click import and import. Okay, so now we're waiting to, for the content to get imported. So that's it, everything's done. Uh, we've imported the content. Let's take a look at our website. There you go, there's the front page. It got imported from the demo just like it was there. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the shop. Looks great, all the products are here. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside uh, a product. I'm gonna add it to the cart and I'm gonna go and view the cart. Okay, and I'm gonna proceed to checkout. Okay, so what I want to do is create a more distraction-free checkout. So when you go to the checkout as a client, you're not tempted to go ahead and click other links, navigate to other pages of the website, uh, the external elements that uh, are not ne necessarily related to the checkout don't distract you too much. And how we're going to achieve this, we're going to remove the menu on this page, uh, remove uh, the primary menu in the top right uh, hand corner. We're going to keep the the site title and the site tagline, but we're going to remove the link on it so you won't be able to navigate to the home page by clicking that. We're also going to probably edit the whole website footer to add a little more trust elements to it. And I'm going to go inside the customizer. I'm going to click on the customize in the admin bar and it's going to take us to the WordPress customizer. We're going to wait for it to load up. Okay. And I'm going to go under header inside global header settings. And I'm actually going to uncheck this option here. So what this says is show this header site wide. So we're using the same, the same header on all pages of the website. I'm going to turn this off first and some other options are going to pop up. So we've got a drop down selector that prompts us to select a header. For now, we've got only the default header that shows up on the whole website. I'm going to go ahead and add a new header. I'm going to call this distraction free checkout and I'm going to hit add. We've got a new, uh, a new element right here. This is a decision list. So it says display this header if, and we can add our own conditions to, to just make it appear on the checkout page. I'm going to go ahead and select page under this one and page is equal to checkout. So now this header will be displayed only on the checkout. So whenever you're uh, using the conditional headers feature, it's actually going to prompt you right here, down here, that you're adding another header than uh, the default header. And actually, if you go back uh, in another panel, it's also gonna have a notice right here saying the same thing. And you can just switch back to the, to the panel of uh, the conditional headers, the global header settings by clicking the link in the notice. And you can go back to the default header or anything else that you wanna, wanna edit. Whatever header I have selected here, it's going to show inside the preview regardless of the conditions down here. So you're, you're always going to preview the selected header. Let's go ahead and do what we said we're going to do. I'm just going to first remove the primary menu from the header. There you go. And next up, I'm going to go inside the logo inside the identity component and disable the homepage link and maybe hide a tagline for it. So there you go. This is the side of the title. I'm going to just rename it uh, real quick. My shop. Let's say, oh, sorry. My shop. Great. I also want to change the, the headers background. So I'm going to go and click the cog right here next to the header main row. It's going to get us inside the row settings. I'm going to go under style and under row background, I'm going to go ahead and use a more uh, light color for that. Great. So now the header doesn't stand up that much. Uh, the, there are no more links up here, so you can't navigate away from the checkout. Let's go ahead and uh, hit publish and 
see what we did. I'm gonna go back to our home page. And on our home page, uh, the old header should be available. It shouldn't have changed anything. And it is. I'm gonna go back inside the shop. Same thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the checkout. So now the checkout has this custom header, distraction free header. Uh, what I wanted to add, uh, I want to also add some trust elements to our footer and maybe edit it, edit it a, bit, a little bit. I'm going to go back inside the customizer. I'm going to go inside the footer panel. Let's scroll down to the footer. Yeah, I, I think we might want to be removing all of these. So I'm going to remove all of the widgets inside the footer and just keep it more simple. Okay, so we also have the, the the second row in the footer. I'm gonna make it a bit brighter. I'm gonna make it uh, lighter gray or something like that. I'm gonna make the copyright component a little bit smaller by dragging the edge of it. And we're gonna go ahead and add payment icons to our footer. So if you click any of the plus buttons on the rows of the footer, you can see this pop-up coming up. And I'm looking for payment icons. I'm gonna just go ahead and add them there. And I'm going to move them the, to the right and make sure they're right aligned. Also, I'm going to make sure that the copyright is left aligned so we have them nicely spaced out. Okay, let's go inside the payment icons and you can actually edit which icons you want to display right here. I'm going to go ahead and click this link here inside the customizer panel. It's going to take me to a whole list of uh, payment icons. So I want to disable PayPal. Uh, Stripe, I'm gonna add back Visa Electron, Cash on Delivery, uh, and I think Amex, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and that might be it. Okay, so now that we added these, uh, we need to make this uh, component a little bit larger so you can show, we can see all the icons inside. I'm gonna drag it and make it a little bit larger. So there you go, we've got our trust icons right here. Uh, don't be worried, this is displaying the current selected header, so it's going to show the default header. Only if you go actually inside the global header settings and select the distraction-free checkout, you're going to see the actual uh, the other header. So I'm going to hit publish and let's go out of the customizer and back to our checkout page. There you go. So you have your checkout form here, our payment icons in the footer, these will be displayed site-wide, so the footer is going to be the same for the whole site. Um, what we can actually do here, there are a, a bunch of more features that uh, add to the checkout page. We're going to go back inside the customizer and under WooCommerce, inside the checkout section, we're going to just go ahead and collapse the general options. These are options that come with WooCommerce and these are things that come from the Neve Pro plugin. Uh, we're gonna use labels as placeholders, so you're, we're gonna move the labels from the form inside the, the inputs. So now the checkout is a lot more compact, let's, let's say. Uh, maybe we're gonna hide the coupon, because we don't need that on this particular shop. Uh, let's see how the, the other style looks. And I'm gonna also use the alternative checkout style. I'm gonna go ahead, click publish again, go outside the customizer, and let's see how it looks right now. So there you go, there's our checkout page with our trust icons, with our custom header, and you can see that the focus is more around the actual checkout form rather than the other elements of the website right now. So there you go, that's how you create a distraction-free advanced checkout inside uh, Neve with Neve Pro inside WooCommerce. I hope you enjoyed this, I hope it helps you, and I'll see you later, I guess. Have a great one.